this is Yolanda Van Veen and in this segment we're going to talk about how to send a single flower. Now there's different reasons that you might want to send a single flower. You just met someone and you want to send them a single red rose and you want them to get it quickly. And you don't want to send a big bouquet, you just want one single rose sent to them. Well the easiest way to do that and the most economical way to do that is to do it yourself. Just buy a rose at the store or at a flower shop and put it in a priority mail or overnight box. And priority mail is only two days to the recipient anywhere in the United States. And you can even do it globally, there's overnight. Two that you can have in one day. But either way you can send the flower a lot cheaper than probably having a florist do it. But you can also go online and go to different flower shops. And if you contact the local florist in the community where you're sending that single flower, you can always get the freshest, easiest flowers that way. And you'll probably spend more on the delivery than on the flowers. And most companies, most flower shops and online websites only offer a group of three roses or three flowers a minimum because they've got to make enough money to make it worth their time. So one rose a lot of times is it's too much work. They're not, they can't afford to do one flower. So by sending like three or four in a smaller bouquet, it's still pretty economical. And that way you still can send flowers to someone that you love very quickly. And whether it's one single flower or a group of flowers, there's lots of options.